Gopnik time. And with Gopnik time, we will go for a very ahistorical game today, which is a very chaotic game in other words. Usually you could just activate World of Alternatives and check this box and everything would be dandy, but we don't have the luxury today because the mod is no longer getting updated. Instead, I will have to do all of this by hand. Oh, war goals, always free. Let's say 1939. Yeah, I think that's fair. We will go for funny YouTube man. We will take him out back and shoot him. And today we will go with the Deutschland class because Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. It's actually not a Nazi song. It's just meant that a United Germany is better than five billion Germanys, but the Nazis ruined it. Yeah. I don't really mind. I don't really care. I do feel weird singing it. Or if I were to sing it, I would feel weird about it. Nothing in the world is going wrong. Everything is dandy. The beautiful 20th century. We went out of a world war, but now everything is perfect. Nothing. There's nothing to worry about because it is a beautiful. No oh, shit. Germany is at war again. One cool thing, if you go to war with yourself as Germany, you can go for an early total mobilization. It's honestly something that I wouldn't recommend anyway. As soon as the war's over, you will have to drop to war economy regardless. So, war economy it is. That's honestly something I really like to do when I go through the German Civil War. Just split them down through Bavaria and then I either leave the Bavarian pocket or push up, depending on how I feel like and what the AI does. Um, what? You can push? Okay. Italy declared war on the Italian Union. I think today I will shoot them for the bonus stab. Okay, as for the rest, what do we do now? To Germany. Ah, France is looking very healthy. The Japanese have started. Wait a minute. Ah, Hjalmar Schacht. The Schacht clown. I just realized. They fucked it up intentionally. Oh, and the second Russian civil war. Uh, that's actually pretty decent what they've done there. Dawn of the European combine. Wait, what? Why? Oh, because they... Nah, they puppeted Latvia and they went for this one. China is declaring war on China and China. But they still have war goals on China and China. But China also has war goals on China. Now they don't have war goals on China anymore. Oh my god, what just happened? Ah, okay, they just... No. <laughs> this is cursed! This is cursed! They're going for the fascist tree against democratic Germany. <laughs> if you're offering yourself, then I... <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> God, this looks so stupid. Those borders. Having the Sudetenland, but not Austria, it looks wrong. If I at least had Bohemia and Moravia, I could be like, okay. Oh no, wait. <laughs> they will get. <laughs> They'll get Czechoslovakia. <laughs> but I have part of Czechoslovakia. This is gonna be a repeat of the mega campaign. Just everyone around us will want to kill us. And we just want to make friends. Yeah, that's. That's what I say. I do feel weird listening to that song. I know the context and all, but... Ah, it's just Germans don't feel comfortable with that. It is such a weird concept, this whole patriotism thing. Unless you're speaking of patriot missiles, god damn am I right, my dear sir? Oh, I can counteract a few of the focuses. It's only point oh two democratic... De democ... De democ... De Good guy support, but it's something, you know. Are you gonna go for German puppet? <laughs> I would love it if they went for German puppet. There it is, I don't know, but he doesn't have any special effects. Can oh no, I'm democratic. I can't go for it. Like, oh, I hate this. This is one of the worst parts of democracies. Earlier, I thought about okay, should I go for the better conscription law? And then I decided against it. 
Yes, they're splitting up. They're splitting up. Yugoslavia is killing itself. We already have five beautiful research slots. Now I'm gonna go for rebuild the nation and can get the Prussian militarism. Oh, look at this. We have six research, research slots. Vaping Estonia failed. French commune. Did I send them to communism? Uh, for the faction of fighting a war on the same side. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's boost. What is it called? Uncommunism. <laughs> Seriously, I can't think. What, what is it called again? The the thing. Democracy. Germany speaks out against Soviet Union, <laughs> but I I pissed Russia. Off. I'm just gonna forget about it. I spoke out against the Soviet Union, but. The Russians got the event and it doesn't make any sense. Oh no! No! Polish, Czechoslovakia. They can still go for German puppet before they're getting annexed. Romania declared one hungry. That... No! You... I... I want both of you! <laughs> Why do you have to fight? I'm actually kind of scared because I don't know what's gonna happen. Is France gonna stab me in the back any minute? Is Poland gonna declare war on me any minute? Are the British gonna attack me? Is the US gonna do anything? <laughs> okay, no. No, they're not gonna do anything. And that's what I was talking about earlier. It's 1939 and we have 36% world tension. The most because we do have, because we got provisional, because the Russian Civil War. Seriously, my brain is just, it's running on a single core. Bulgaria sprints to Romania. Okay. Wait, what? I can still align Hungary? They're in a faction with, no, because of, I just remembered! Democratic Hungary gets a decision to form a faction with Sweden when they were attacked. Do you wanna answer my message? Austria? Yes. Okay. I just formed a faction with the Austrians and then I annexed them. I think that's gonna invoke confidence in the Central European Alliance. Serbia and Romania join my faction. Perfect. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this European Union that I have. I mean, the Central European Alliance I have right now. Now we can also help out. <laughs> and I can align Hungary. <laughs> I could go for align Hungary now. If I can do it correctly, I could puppet Hungary, which would end the war. Can I invite Sweden? This is for science. Okay. I just wanted to see if that's... If I could invite Sweden while there were a war with one of my faction members, I guess not. Which makes sense. The British are not communist yet. South Africa broke free. India broke free. Canada broke free. All of the dominions broke free. But Australia and India are still sticking with them. To all resources in Wakaka. 20 oil. Sure. Catholic Mexico. Fascist. And... Okay. <laughs> I guess because of... Yeah, normally... I would be fascist as well, so sort of makes sense. <laughs> ich, ich liebe es. Oh, ich liebe Kapitalismus. <laughs> I, just, I just took. I just stole it, and I, there's nothing we can do about it. Join the war. Oh my god, I can. I cannot go. Estimated enemy strength ratio of 50% more. Nah, shit. Oh! Every f nation in this faction will receive the buff. Send all of my boys over there. I wish I had women, but this is 1940. One thing I could do is I could delete a portion of my army and then go for extensive conscription. As always, hearts of iron. Göteborg is ours. Now we all can almost cap Sweden. Seriously, in the middle of the war, I'm, I just disbanded half of them, my military. Ow! I could take Hungary. I would really like for the aluminum minimum, but I will take the north of Sweden. Oh, logistics wizard. Actually, the French, they are eyeing me up very weirdly. And the Soviets are still embroiled in their weird civil war. What? I just straight up get... Why do I get a war goal against them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing a very weird historical Germany. The AI just doesn't flip. It's so disheartening. Seriously. Does anyone have any <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, Romania has oil. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> uh, okay, you wanna talk a bit? Commentate. 
I can't really see this. Oh yeah, I can see the screen on OBS. I guess if I'm exercising the tanks, I don't need to order oil, huh? Because the only difference that tanks not having oil in Hearts of Iron Fall that is the does the only downside to me would be that they are slower. Sentence hard. I fucking hate you. Yes! We also get we got for a second I was like, no, that that's Yugoslavia. But it's hungry. As straight as a cooked noodle I am. God, I fucking love pasta. I often do wonder what's going through your head. And if I yeah, if I go to grab him, he's gonna bite me. Okay, slapping me. Interesting. There we go. That that was the bite. Come here. Are you serious? Uh, okay. I set the settings so everyone. Okay. Fair enough. It's Why did I expect it to work? That one is on me. It's a paradox game. For clarification, I set the game rule that anyone can declare wars and justify wars after 1939, but apparently it doesn't work. This might have been a layer 8 problem, this might have been because I switched ideologies, or it just doesn't work. The normal game rule works, where you can instantly declare war, but the time one didn't for in this case. Ah, okay. Yeah, all in all, I'm very disappointed with what the AI has been doing. Just thought someone joined. This is fine. We can just have our German tanks do German things. Oh, they don't have crippled government thing. This stranded government. Oh no. It's bugged again. Revolutionary Democratic Union of Afar declared war on the French Commune. The fucking what? <laughs> okay, this is bullshit and this is bullshit. No CB. Boom, 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 boom. Let's fix this. What the fuck just happened? France joined Communist China and then Sweden capitulated? Finland joined the Allies. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> the entire time nothing happened and then I'm like, okay, I, I want to declare war on France twice. And suddenly the world explodes. Free India joined the Hispanic Alliance. Blech. We can invite China to the Central European Alliance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, Free France is gone. Now I just need to get over to China. I know a way. That way means striking at the source. The faction map mode is actually screwing me a little, uh, a little bit. I can invite Livonia. Okay. Uh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia, okay. Oh my god, Ethiopia just dragged us into the war against China and Japan. The Soviet government. I don't know why I should care about the Soviet government. Can you see the Soviet government? Comment now if you can see the Soviet government. Oh my god! <laughs> Now you know how good the... I disabled the timer again. A historical focus tree for Germany. If you go democratic Germany, you will be able to invite people into your faction, have a civil war, be an absolute powerhouse in terms of research, give all of your allies a nice research buff and production buff, and you will get to go to war with Russia, but only if they're communists. Seriously, I cannot do anything unless I cheat here. The only war I could have made was against France. Yeah, okay, Russia. You are the Europe Alliance. Sure. Seriously though, this feels a little bit like modern day Russia where they're like, oh, we're actually kind of nice. You're just being dickheads and we're actually Europe, you know, but you're just being mean to us. Oh my God, and Portugal is still not fascist. It's 1941 for fuck's sake. The next time I go for a chaos game like that, I'll just play every single nation myself. Wait, what? We're at war with the... I guess they declared war on Livonia? Give me California. Yes. It's such a useless state, but at least I have a border with them. The Quantum Territories joined the Hispanic Alliance. We can probably easily break... Yep, 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 yep. And boom, we broke through. Now these guys are stuck here. Hold the fuck! The <laughs> Ethiopia 
boosted independence movement in Africa. The Ivory Commune popped out of my French land and then they took Mali and then Mali popped out of the land that they have. Now Mali is free and then my faction instead of being at war with me and I can't take them back. This game man. Wait a minute. I've seen this before. They left Catholic Mexico alive in El Salvador. We're snaking through. This looks like EU4. <laughs> I started in Germany and then I just snaked my way into China. I have a PU on Scandinavia. Unitary Canada has assumed faction leadership of the Hispanic Alliance. Yes. Seriously, I, I enjoy the battle for the Bosporus nation, nations more than I enjoy Switzerland and Ethiopia. And that's just sad. What are you doing? <laughs> Spain has such a hard life this game. They're just getting attacked, annexed, partially attacked, annexed fully, liberated, attacked, annexed. <sighs> oh, oh my god, those borders. I fucking hate this game. I defeated them but I don't have enough war score because I didn't fight, I just walked through them. Comi China has capitulated and they just declared three more wars. They really just don't like their allies, huh? Seriously, Italy, do something. They leg legitimately just slowed my game down by existing and forcing puppets into the game. A million Germans just dropped on the border to the US and then six Germans turned up in Washington. Hmm. I wonder what is going on. Oh, look at the green go. I'm having a slight case of Jama Vu. I feel like I've invaded Poland before as Germany. <laughs> How is Sweden in my faction? I own Sweden. That was the one sound I heard earlier. US will just constantly invade me now and since I can't make color governments this is gonna be very fun. Fun 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 fun. I could of course split off a portion of my army. That would mean I am doing something to prevent my suffering which doesn't really sound like me does it. I'd rather complain about it you know. I don't want a solution I just want to complain. Look at this this whole coalition that could be defending the US. Okay Talia. Italia is here, so I'm at war with everyone. Good thing I was sort of prepared for that. What? They're only at war with me and I can't call my allies in. This is seriously just a war about Cologne. Col Cologne. Cologne. About my Cologne. This is a war about colonialism. Full stop. Where's the... Uh, I hope there's another peace deal where it's just me with the US because otherwise I'll be pissed. Oh my god, the game is gonna run quite a lot faster now. I almost wanna play the game now. The Philippines. Thank you. I think I'm done. These peace deals were so chaotic. I just... This... Paradox. Paradox. It's like 15 degrees, so... Let's get this over with. And the allies still exist with Portugal. This game I had trouble pushing into Italy over the Alps, so I did something I haven't really done a lot in Hearts of Iron. I looked at the Air Force. I have been building fighters and cast the whole game. They were pretty bad, but I have a numbers advantage after capitulating half the world already. And once again, at some point I will conquer my fear of looking at the Air Force, but today is not the day. I will just use them. And boom, green air. I'm not sure if we can push with this, but ooh. He has to do a last stand, interesting. Um, and we're actually doing a little bit of damage. And I guess I can also start pushing with these because we do have manpower, we do have the resources. If we can grind them down and... Oh, actually, yes, we broke through. If we can do this, maybe some sneaky, 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 sneaky. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh my god. Why did you look at that? That's so beautiful. Jesus! He's being so feisty today. Yep. Okay, no. He's just, he just keeps biting me today. Cut these off. Yay, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> How many losses do you have? 650k. <laughs> Another 300k that were just killed in this one accident. 
And then we can just keep pushing into Italy. Who is the major in this faction? That was one thing I was... It's fucking India. It's free India, not India. <laughs> we can't get there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The AI is cheating again. They used mill axes. They either used mill axes or they were called... Ooh, or they were called into the wall. <laughs> Jesus, this is a big tank. Please, work. I can't even... I can't even win by cheating. <laughs> What about uh, inviting the faction? Probably not. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even have to cheat. We can guarantee your independence, which increases opinion. Diplo pressure. Diplo pressure. The German army has arrived in India. God, it's so fucking cold. Can I please just win the game? This is not worth it for a joke. Like, it's not even a funny joke. It's just a joke. But you don't have to understand my humor. China will get a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Let's see if we can take something interesting. We have formed the European Union, Central European Alliance. The only other factions that are alive are the Hispanic Alliance after the fourth defeat, the Allies after their second defeat, the Greeks, because fuck me, I guess, and the Russians with the European Alliance. But I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Always remember, kids.